Today we are going to learn how to make a 3D post for Facebook with the help of a depth map. Hello guys, welcome to Graphic Ahina. My name is Shubham. To create a depth map, you need a post design first of all, and I have already prepared a post. If you have not checked my tutorial on how to make a social media post, firstly go watch it and you can also download this file for free from my website. The link is in the description. Okay, moving back to the composition. While holding shift, select all groups and press Ctrl G and name it as original. Create a duplicate copy of the group and name it as depth map. Creating depth map is easy if you are making depth for very few objects. So delete those layers that you don't want to create depth for. Press Ctrl A to merge the group and make a single layer out of it. We don't want shadow for the product image. I'm only keeping minimum objects in this post. Otherwise it will be difficult for make a depth map for it. Now select all layers and click on lock transparent pixels. It will help us to fill directly colors in it. We are choosing grey color for the background. So all other products will be a lighter version of the background. A depth map only consists of black and white shades where white will be nearer to us and black will be far away from us. Let's see example of it. Left side is the depth map, right side is the original image. When we darken the background of the depth map, the original image background will go far away from us. Similarly, when we increase the whites in show image, it will get nearer to us. That's how our depth map works in Facebook for a 3D post. Now we have created our depth map, let's see it in action. Now remember to save this file with underscore depth in it. For example, if this file name is xyz, it will be xyz underscore depth. If its name is abc, abc underscore depth. In my case, social media post underscore depth. Similarly, save the original file as social media post. So to test it out, open your Facebook account. And remember to select the audience to only me so that you can see the changes yourself and edit it accordingly. After that, when you are satisfied with the result, you can change it back to the public. Now select both images. Wait a few seconds, Facebook is creating a 3D photo for us. And now you can see the results. It's looking good, but there is too much blur down the shoe image. So we will decrease the depth value of the images. Now again open the depth map. Select the shoe image, press Ctrl U and decrease its lightness. Let's save it and see the difference. Upload both images again. Now you can see the difference. It has less blur right below the shoe image. Similarly do the same thing for the button and for the offer section as well. You can also choose something simpler than this or just a shape and text. If you learn something new from this tutorial then please subscribe to my channel. Give it a big thumbs up. Tell me your views in the comment section how was the tutorial. So let's meet on another tutorial for the time being. Goodbye.